Hey guys, so I'm going to do Black Series again today, and I'm going to do, it's an older one, but I also think it's one that doesn't get as much love as it deserves. Or, yeah, it. we got to keep it so it doesn't ruin. Mind you, you'll see the, the headline anyway, so you're already going to know. So I guess these intros are just me trying to be making it look like I know what I'm doing. But yeah, um, I think this one, from what I had heard from some people, um, it was considered a peg warmer, um, I guess back in the day. But uh, yeah, so let's just get on to, uh, on to what I think is probably, in my opinion, the most, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm still going to say the most underrated Black Series figure in the line so far. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Papa Gord here, and yeah, Star Wars The Black Series. Um, so, underrated figures. Um, there are definitely more than a few that I think have flown under the radar. Zuvio is definitely one that just took a schlacking big time. Um, and he's, he's not perfect, but he's not bad. I don't mind him, actually. And it could just be because it's Boba Fett colors, and that just... I love my I love my Boba Fett. So um, so yeah. Um, so what I think probably, geez, yeah. I uh, again my opinion, right? My channel, my opinion. Agree, disagree. Um, that's okay. But right there, Greedo, number seven in the orange stripe so another oldie um i just picked this up off my buddy joel joel has hooked me up a few times because he's getting out of majority of his six inch stuff uh that's where i got the hoth luke skywalker um and a few other and a few other pieces uh so you got to help a guy out and help him get rid of some. And um, this is one I always wanted the box for. Because I have him, but not with the box. Even though he's going to be looking just like this one. Um, I just, I dig these boxes. I think these ones are so much better than the red and the black boxes. Uh, just the, the silhouette picture on it. And I just like the, the side window, the front window, up at the top, uh, there as well. I just, I prefer this box style over what we get now. So with that being said, this is my new one. I just got him literally about half an hour ago. And that just fell over. But anyway, and we're going to get to Greedo. Now, speaking of Greedo... Greedo, you know who I'm talking to, you Greedo, not this Greedo, but you Greedo, go into my about part of my YouTube page and you'll see my email. Email me because I do believe you said that you don't have a Greedo. So I've been trying to message you. <laughs> I've been sending you every time you comment, I comment back and say, email me email me so email me if you would like this greedo to go in your collection because i don't need to have two and uh yeah so anyway with that being said let's get on to again what i think is probably one of the most underrated or the most underrated black series figure he for the age and how long he's been around he looks great he looks like he should he looks like greedo from a new hope um there's absolutely nothing wrong with this figure he gets so much so much hate but he doesn't deserve it well maybe he does he might be a little bit of a you know but um yeah it's not a perfect figure but for again for how long he's been around because he could have easily they didn't have to make him 
back um, back then, they could have easily made him one of the ones in the red and the black boxes. But um, here, we'll just get rid of his pistol for now. But they didn't. They decided, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do a Greedo, and you're gonna like it. And some people did, and some people didn't. Um, because I do remember, even before I started collecting Black Series, I do remember seeing him and saying, oh, that's kind of neat. Um, man, that's a really big Star Wars figure. Because, again, being used to the, you know, three and three quarter inch size. But, um, yeah, he, he's he got, like, dirt wash on him. There, in just all the details and the textures, um, you know, like on his legs. You can see the pattern there in the yellow, which, you know, blends up well with the sleeves. And if, oddly enough, I just realized, because I was like, man, actually, his arm articulation is kind of crappy. Um, this is how I had him on my shelf. So I had his arm on, uh, his arm was backwards. So I have to take back the fact that I thought his um, articulation on his arms was garbage. But it's actually not that bad I mean it's pretty standard right for um, for the black series but he gets he gets about 90 degrees and like look at his crazy crazy long fingers going on and they were able to do a decent sculpt on that on his pistol hand or his laser gun or whatever you want to call it um, even given the trigger finger as well and he holds his uh, he holds it really well so let's because this is all he comes with let's t and it's such a small thing we'll just look at this really quick so that is it it is silver with some black paint wash on it you know it's not bad it's a little more firm than some of the weapons that we've been getting again this one's a little bit older um, and he does have his holster, which, you know, goes in quite nicely. I love the fact with this holster that it's not pegged to his leg. It does move around. So if you need to get it up and out of the way to get him positioned in some other pose, you're able to do that. Um, so we'll start up at the head. He doesn't have perfect head range and that's really about my only gripe and it's a small gripe because you know you get his little little dual mohawk thing that he's kind of rocking uh right here and it's soft and you can kind of get the texture kind of like bristles on a brush and his uh you know he's yeah, it's Greedo, so he doesn't get a whole lot of head range. But he gets enough. He can, and even a little bit of waggle. And the arms do go all the way around. He does get basically about 90 degree bend at the elbow. Um, if they were to think about doing a redo on him, they could easily cut a deeper slot. And he'd be able to pull off a greater bend. But he's still more than more than fine. Um, he's got his upper thigh rotation, double jointed. Uh, he's so close. He gets there. He gets pretty good. But again, it, it's for his age. He uh, he pulls off that rather well. He's rocking his orange vest. Um, he does have. Oh, Man, I haven't moved this guy in a while, so he does get some back. Uh, not a whole lot of front, and then he's got a bit of a weird twist. You can see the tops of his legs right up there, but uh, again, for how long he's been around, he is a great figure. Um, I love having him. I had no problems picking him up as a loose figure. Um, but now having the box like 2013 so we're talking he that he's you know six years he's six years old and i think he could oh geez he could stand toe to toe with uh i don't have any 
Star Wars. I haven't got any more Black Series here for comparisons. Uh, it's all it's all Marvel Legends. Um, but yeah, I think he could easily stand up with any of the new stuff that's out there. Again, Hasbro's shown us they can pull off Alien look, no problems, and especially for being six years old. Um, Greedo's always been very iconic uh, look to him and he's just he's solid I don't know why he peg warmed as much as he did um, maybe because the you know the series was as new as it was still um, you know I think Hasbro did come out with some interesting choices for what they gave us for the blue stripe and for the orange stripe boxes uh, where you would think that typically they'd go and just pound us with Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Darth Vader, um, but like then you get like a Greedo gets thrown in there. Um, maybe not a first choice uh, to introduce a line, but um, absolutely a great figure. Uh, he is. Um, there is that two pack that can the cantina scene that's got the Han Solo and Greedo in the little cardboard uh, cantina, um, which is it's this figure. It's the Han Solo we already have. It's just in a cool package. Um, I don't have that. I don't feel the need to have it unless I find it really, really, really cheap or uh, I receive it as a gift or something. Um, I, yeah, I don't need it. I got a Greedo, um, and I have a box for my Greedo. So if I ever have to pack up and move, then Greedo has a storage container of his own. So that's going to do it for him. Um, I guess we could pull out the trunk. Should we do the trunk? We should do the trunk. And I think you guys are probably going to know oh, where we're going to rate this one. And I'm just going to give it the big old fat red rupee for sure. Um, there's absolutely, besides maybe a little lack of articulation in the head, he is one of my favorite figures. Um, he's been sitting in the back of my shelf for well, ever since I got my guys on my, my shelving unit. And he doesn't deserve to be stuck. Baby doesn't deserve to be put in the corner. And Greedo doesn't deserve to be buried in behind, um, you know, a couple of Jawas and a snow trooper and an um, AT-AT uh, driver or pilot or whatever you want to call them. But um, yeah, he is awesome. One of my favorites, uh, especially from the early on figures. Uh, so let me know down in the comments, guys. Greedo, did you pick him up or is this one that you may still be hunting for, uh, let me know down in the comments. And as usual, same old, same old. Comment, share, like, subscribe, all the usual YouTube mumbo jumbo that everybody says at the end of their videos. And um, as always, guys, thanks for taking the time to watch this review and uh, have yourselves a good one. We'll catch you later. A. Eh?